Hey guys, it's Mickey. I'm up here at the Show Me Reptile Shop in Troy. It's Super Bowl Sunday, and I love reptiles more than I like football, so we're gonna be upgrading these enclosures today. We're gonna to be, uh, you know, just cleaning up this area and uh, making this, this all look better. We're gonna put all of these uh, geckos and, and frogs and stuff in uh, some nice exoterra enclosures with some UVB lighting and uh, full bioactive setups, so you guys can Watch me today as I do that. <laughs> All right, step one, we got the uh, new shelf built and uh, got the area cleaned up around it. You know, a lot of dust likes to accumulate in the storefront stuff like that but yeah we got it all cleaned up got our surge protector back there and i'm going to start setting tanks in here so first i'm going to start with uh some of these 12 by 12 exoterras these things are great i'm gonna get these unboxed all right guys so i got i got the uh tanks all set up on the rack uh you know i was gonna try and put four in a row but three three really only fit i didn't want anything hanging off the side <clears throat> so i decided to go with the exoterra for a couple different reasons. Uh, I really like the way they look. I mean, they let a lot more light in. Uh, the airflow is very, very important to a lot of animals. You know, you gotta have that, that good ventilation. And these also leave you a lot of options for heat, uh, UVB lighting, you know, and, and to me, I just feel like they're, they're more visually appealing. So, you know, that's that's why, you know, we chose to go with the exit there. Also the, uh, you know, the double doors are, are very nice. Uh, and of course, I'm not taking anything away from anybody that wants to use PVC enclosures for their animals. I just prefer glass. That's that's what I like to use. And I feel like, you know, people coming in and seeing a, a Chihuahua in a bioactive enclosure, you know, that's all set up and nice, that's gonna inspire those people to, you know, go home and build their own bioactive enclosure and, you know, kind of, kind of shows, shows people the, the right way to get started. So let's start uh, in these 12 by 12s with, uh, you know, our our watershed. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a good drainage layer. It's, it's uh, you know, clay balls. Uh, we also can use lava rocks, stuff like that. But, you know, we got the uh, show me watershed we're gonna use for the bottoms of these guys. Yeah. You just wanna pour a nice little little bit in there, you know, half inch or so, inch, half inch. Kind of even it out a little bit. All right, so I've got all of our watershed in there, our drainage layer. Now what's what's important next is uh, we add our screen, you know, to keep our soil from mixing into our drainage layer. So we have uh, our 12 by 12 bio shields and uh, I'll go ahead and install these. Our drainage layer in, uh, you know, and we've got our screen in to keep our soil from, from mixing in with the, uh, with the, uh, you know, water, water retention area. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start adding some soils. All right, so we've got our our bio shield in. We've got our, you know, our drainage layer in. Uh, up next, it's time for some soil. So we're gonna use uh, Show Me ABG. This is a, a blend that we make here. Really good for bioactive enclosures. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start filling these things up. So I am filling some of these with gecko mix. This is another mixture that we do. It's uh, it's kind of like a tropical ABG. Uh, 
pretty pretty different uh different soil composition but it, it, it all does the same thing so, yeah. all right so we've got our our three layers set up now so now it's uh off to hardscapes all right guys so we've got all the hardscapes in you know that's the cork bar and the leaves the decorations water bowls stuff like that up next that means it's time for lighting and animals all right guys so we've got the uh the hardscapes all in you know the the leaf litter for the for the isopods everything like that uh we're gonna start using putting the lighting in we always use arcadia lighting in in the store uh best uvb fixtures that we found so far uh so we're gonna outfit all these enclosures with uh you know a lot of these they're all they're gonna get the six percent uvb kits uh because a lot of these are geckos and frogs stuff like that uh yeah we think everything does better with uvb on it so there you have it we've built out this rack and uh i'm gonna move over to this this rack and get it all built out uh thanks for uh joining us if you've got any questions you know or want to learn how to do bioactive video uh bioactive we do have other videos up on our YouTube channel. Uh, Scott did one not too long ago about how to build a bioactive enclosure in 10 minutes. Uh, pretty good, but I'm gonna get back to work. The store's starting to get busy. Uh, have a good day.